Hey Halloween lovers, my name is Chris and today I'm going to show you how to make a projection display out of, well, I'm going to be using our work Jeep, but you could also do this on your windows as well. And uh, it's a pretty awesome way of using what's called masking liquid to act as a projection screen on glass. So every year we put together a Halloween display and try to make it bigger and better than the year before so that we can get people to drive by the house and draw some attention to our charity and hopefully raise some funds to continue the work that we do with people with disabilities and special needs as well as uh, disabled veterans that we hire to recycle. So let me show you how we do what we do. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just clean the windows so that we have a nice surface for the masking liquid to adhere to so that when you're done with it, it can just peel off in strips. And I, I do have some on here from last year that I never bothered to take off because I always have the doors off the Jeep anyway in the summer, so. But check this out. All right, so this is the masking liquid that we use. And so what painters use to paint glass and then you can paint windows, but this works awesome because it dries pretty clear but opaque enough for the projector to pick up the light and you can mount the projector on the inside and then put it on the inside of the windows so that it's you know safe from the elements and such so I'll show you how I roll it on with this little foam roller right here because you just need a really nice thin even coat and then once it dries you can project on it and then when you're done with it you just use a razor blade and cut around and then just peel it right off all right, nice thin coats as well. Okay, now you let that dry and it's kind of see-through. So when I move this to where it's gonna go, I'm gonna be driving it kind of like Ace Ventura with my head poking out the window. But um, if you put it in place before you put the masking liquid on, probably safer than driving it around with that stuff on there. And then I'll show you how the projector's set up. All right, so here's the little projector that I found on Amazon. Um, it was like $35, $37, and it is, it's pretty awesome. You can plug in a USB to it, and I found some images online on YouTube that I copied, and then um, this will play as a loop when you plug in that USB so that it'll just play and play and play. Um, it's for the price of it. I used it last year, it's amazing, and it projects really nicely uh, onto the inside of the glass. This is Quackers, my duck. She's helping me out today. All right, so I moved the Jeep and had some fun with that but so then i had to prop this up in the back so that i could get the right angle to go onto the front windshield and then the side window because where i parked the jeep you'll be able to see coming from this side down the street through the side window and then coming from this way it'll look like the skeletons are trying to get out of the jeep um, from this way um, Obviously, it's got to be darker out before I can like arrange it. But if you put like a you know set some stuff up, and then I can use this shirt to get the angle just right. And then I've got power running through here, so I can just kind of close this stuff down, and it stays dry. And the projector will just run. And then when it gets dark enough, people driving by can see it, and then I'll set up skeletons around it and have a a really cool, really inexpensive. Um, Pretty easy to do and uh, you know if you are tech savvy like me where you can make your own loop videos and things uh, that's helpful but I guess you could always find loops and there's lots of places online that you could buy a loop video if you wanted to so um, hopefully if you end up doing this uh, please share it with me and I'd like to see how you utilize uh, the technology and the, the use of you know uh, you know, fun videos to make Halloween even more fun.